first question is from Freeman Axtell. What are some of your favorite ways to build the mid back? Oh, the the good old mid back. Ooh, mid. So a, a well developed mid back. The canals is so underrated. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. You know, we we tend to think of the lats and getting width and all that stuff. Right. But nothing is more attractive than having that nice muscle and definition of the spine yeah. to where Adam called it the canal, yeah. where it's it kind of dips that in. Just goes all yes, way down. one of the things that I mean, Jessica has got incredible back development. Part of it's because she did um, a lot of silks training, so a lot of climbing and rowing and pulling. But she had this. I just loved her back. I loved the way it looked. I loved the way that line looked. And you know, she had well ba- well developed mid back muscles. Some of the best exercises for the mid back are rows and row variations. But I'm going to tell you an exercise that blows those away, and I'm learning about it now. Uh, heavy, no joke, heavy trap bar, farmer walks, and deadlifts. Man, that hits my mid-back like nothing. Yeah. And really, I didn't really start doing those on a regular basis until I followed Map Strong. Back when we – when did we write Map Strong? When did we create that? Ooh, a couple years ago. It was a couple years ago. So Robert Oberst is a world's strongest man competitor, massive human being. Um, and we Strong enlisted his help hell. to create a workout inspired by strongmen. I followed the program, and in it are unconventional type exercises like snatch grip deadlifts and zercher squats and trap bar farmer walks. Mm-hmm. And I followed the program. It's the first time I ever did farmer walks, like programmed, where it's consistent every single week. And the, the biggest gains I saw besides my grip strength – was my mid back? My mid back just it just I could feel it. I could feel the. Well, it's funny. We all kind of noticed that at the same time after going through a few of the workouts for a few weeks. It was like, oh my god, my upper back and my my mid back are just torched. Yep. Like it, it hits it so many times, and it's it's just one of those things. Those work sessions, uh, you're always carrying something. You're always like in a, you know, your hands are in a position where they're wider than they usually are, or you know, you're you're, you're just grabbing things constantly, and it totally uh, adds up uh, over time all this volume like adds right into your to your back well it, it makes a ton of sense why that why that is right like you that 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 canal or those you know when you, you get the, the erector spinae and the rhomboids and yeah the the, all those muscles support the spine mm-hmm. and so anything that really challenges uh you know flexion or extension of the spine or stabilizing the spine uh, especially heavily heavy loaded is going to really develop all those muscles mm-hmm. that support that. And so when you think about obviously for me deadlift nothing did it like deadlifting. Deadlifting uh yeah. just completely changed the way my back looked and that was one of the things. It just gave this new thickness and those and a just deep canal down the back from deadlifting and that was the biggest change in my routine uh before uh, I noticed that big change. But I would say the the trap bar deadlifts too is because you are I mean I mean you could trap bar deadlift or I mean uh, or deadlift or carry you know four plus four hundred plus pounds you're carrying four hundred plus pounds and moving like that the amount of stabilization oh, for all those muscles around there I mean so I, I think that's a big reason why those oh, those exercises are so picking powerful. things up on the ground like shouldering uh, heavy weights like there's all if you just go through and you look at all these exercises like your your back is so essential in that process of, of lifting something off the ground and pulling it up into your chest uh you know and it's just it, it does wonders for your mid back to yeah. me that's that's the real sign of a strong back too right so some people look at backs and they they are get they get impressed by the the wingspan mm-hmm. yeah because someone has big glats but to me a, a really strong back will have this more so pronounced funny. mid-back it's so funny it's very you say functional. That. I, so i picked up on that um in my 20s I, I worked out at the gold's gym for a little while on uh, monterey uh, love that gold. So I don't think it's gold anymore. I think it was, it's called something else now. But great gym. And I, you know, there's you see a lot of hardcore lifters in there. And I remember there was one dude that worked out there, and his back was so impressive. He had this impressive traps and this back thickness. And he wore these tank tops to work out. And, you know, we work out at the same time, so I'd see him all the time. Eventually, we'd, every, you know, we'd say hi to each other or whatever. And I noticed he just had this incredible back thickness. And I'd watch his workouts and Almost all the exercises did for back were rows or some kind of a heavy deadlift or, or trap bar deadlift or something like that. So which I never saw him do pull-ups, never saw him do pull-downs, but he did lots and lots of rows and lots and lots of deadlifts. Now, at the same time, there was another dude that was in there that could do more pull-ups than i ever seen in my entire life and do more pull-ups with more weight. This dude could strap 100 pounds on his, on his, around his waist and do crazy pull-ups, and he could also rep out 25 pull-ups like no big deal. Totally different look to his back. Very wide. He had the wide-looking lats, yeah. but he lacked the thickness. Now, I remember specifically, 
paying attention to this two and thinking to myself, if I had to pick one, I'd want to look like the dude that did all the rows. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because those mid-back muscles are so functional for everyday life. Now, that's yeah. not to say pull-ups aren't functional. I think they're very functional. But I think that mid-back, pulling the shoulder blades back, keeping that upright posture, if you pull something, you tend to pull it towards your body rather than pulling yourself up. It's just a more functional, more powerful look. Well, I just love, too, those seated rows where you allow your shoulders to protract a bit, but you stabilize uh, you know, your trunk and you're pulling back in. So it's like something where like trainers will come up and be like, you're doing it wrong uh, because you're supposed to keep your shoulders in that like neutral position and wow. then only retract from there. But uh, for me, getting that full range of motion, it, I could really feel that. My I, think it's, I think it has a lot to do with posture. Like I think what what you're alluding to right now is like when you have Probably. The, when you have that really good thick mid back, you, the the muscles that are typically underdeveloped in like upper cross syndrome yeah you're not hitting that end are range. fully developed yeah you know like so like a lot when you see somebody which is common right so majority of people listening actually suffer from upper cross syndrome at some at some extent of it and so with that you you tend to have these overactive tight you know delts and pec your pecs are tight and they're ruined and then you have a weaker mid upper back and so if you have a very strong developed mid upper back you probably have pretty damn good posture and it just looks good and it looks good that's right and you yeah. stand up and you see and you could man when you see someone like that in a t-shirt the way it hangs on mm -hmm. the back of their shirt you can see the traps in the mid back and they're upright you can have really and we've probably seen this before somebody who has really wide or you know good lats but still rolled forward yep oh yeah you know? you're right and, and poor posture like yep. you just you look don't... more confident and composed yeah. and when, when you yep. have good posture one arm dumbbell rows are great too one arm dumbbell row with a little rotation to the top that hits that mid back any row that really focuses on squeezing the shoulder blades back is going to give you that mid back development 